Larissa with Bicozzi.com is here. Today I would like to show you how to make a beautiful blanket with merino wool. I will be using this beautiful mustard color merino wool. Mustard color is perfect for uh, upcoming fall and merino wool is very thick, soft and beautiful and it's perfect for making a blanket for decorative purposes guys if you want a blanket that you will be using on a daily basis uh, i would uh, recommend using chunky chanel or jumbo chanel from our website becozy.com but if you want to have uh, this uh, gorgeous blanket uh, made with merino wool for decoration of your bedroom mostly then that's what we will be making today Look at this beautiful blanket. So we will be using the cable knit stitch and we will be using them in this a different way that uh, I have another video showing how to make cable stitch. This uh, cable stitch is done uh, in a different way and that's what gives this blanket this beautiful, beautiful look. So we will be making blankets 30 by 50. This is, uh, it's more like 34, 35 actually by 50. And uh, it's a small throw. It's enough to cover your legs when you're sitting on the couch. If you want something bigger, you will need, uh, we will be using uh, five pounds of Mirina. You will need seven pounds to make a blanket 40 by 60. And this one will be 35 by 50. So if you're ready, if you get uh, Mirina wool from Bicozy.com, let's get started. Okay, guys, so we will start as usual. We're placing, uh, placing the uh, yarn in front of you like that. This is the tail, this is working yarn. And now we will take our working yarn and place it on the top of the tail and make a loop like that. Now we will insert the hand inside grab working yarn and pull it out hold these two together and pull the yarn until you make pretty tight knot and here is our first stitch it's ready now we can pull working yarn a little bit down or up if you want and make a stitch about two inches now we will be casting on 14 stitches guys okay so this is our first stitch we insert our hand grab working yarn and pull it out so now we have two stitches over here and you can see that they're approximately the same size that's the uh, goal to have them about the same size and now we will insert our hand inside grab working yarn and pull it out another way you can hold the bottom of the stitch with your left hand like that and then insert your right hand grab working yarn and pull it out see we have four stitches and we will keep casting on this way until we have 14 stitches let me move the yarn Let's count our uh, stitches on this beautiful chain. So to count stitches, count uh, the openings over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 14 stitches, guys. So what we are doing next? Next, we are turning our chain on another side like this. And we are placing working yarn on the back like this now we will be pulling out our first row and we will skip uh, this first stitch the first stitch will be just sitting here and well like that uh, like this and we will be using these knots in the middle of the stitch so stitch consists of top bottom and the middle part so we will be using the middle part of the stitch so we will insert our hand grab working yarn and pull stitch out 
So you can see that now we have two stitches. Now we will pull out the next stitch. We'll use this uh, knot in the middle. We will lift it. I will use our, my left hand to lift it. Then right hand goes inside, grab working yarn and pull it out. We have three stitches and we will keep knitting this way or pulling out our first row until we pull out all 14 stitches. Here we are. Knitting with merino wool is very uh, fast because stitches are really, really big. Every stitch should be about two and a half, three uh, inches at least. If you want it tighter, you can make it tighter, but make sure not to make it too tight but otherwise you will use a lot of extra yarn so now when we pulled out our first row we will start knitting our pattern the pattern will be uh, the first stitch will be knitted we insert our hand grab working yarn and pull it out the next two stitches we will purl so working yarn from uh, uh, on the back goes up front. You're taking the stitch with your left hand and you're pushing this yarn that is sitting here up front through this stitch and then pull it out. So here we purled one stitch and the working yarn still on the uh, up front. Take a stitch with your left hand and push this yarn through like this so now we have two stitches that we purled see the difference this one was knitted it looks like a chain these two were purled they look like they have a little bump in front of the uh, stitch so what we are doing next next we are knitting eight stitches guys so simple knitting stitch working yarn goes on the back insert your hand grab working yarn pull it out and then keep doing it for seven more uh, stitches. Insert your hand, grab working yarn, pull it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we needed eight stitches you can see them all here needed stitches and now we will purl these two stitches so working yarn is up front take the stitch and push working yarn through one and the same way second one now the last stitch we will be always uh, knitting like that and then we will be skipping it uh, when it becomes the first one so we needed this row now this uh, stitch is staying here starting this row we are skipping first stitch on both sides that will give us beautiful chain uh, it will make it even on the side and it will look the same uh, as the bottom see this chain so now we will be repeating this uh, pattern for four five rows guys it's uh, kind of up to you how close you want your cables to be so we are purling this two working yarn up front take the stitch with your left hand and push the yarn through and the same with the next so we just purl two more stitches this guy is sitting here it's already a stitch and now we are knitting our eight stitches one two three four five six seven eight so i will keep knitting this way for four rows so this is our second row so i will need two more rows and then i will come back and i will show you how we will be making those beautiful cables so make sure to always knit this last stitch we will be always knitting it okay so I'm knitting two more rows the same way, skipping first stitch, purling two, knitting eight, and purling two, knitting last one, and then I will come 
pack and I will show you how to do the cables okay so we have four rows done guys okay one two three four one two three four so number five we will be uh, starting the same we're skipping see already you can see this beautiful chain on the side that's why we're skipping uh needing this first stitch and we're going to do this two we're purling them and now we will be making our uh cable so for cable we are crisscrossing this four and this four will be another uh cable so this cable this uh second two stitches are going on the top of this first two okay crisscross and then we are needing them we're needing this two first like that and then we need in this two on the back one and two here we are we just made the crisscross see and now we are making crisscross with this next four one two three four only this uh, two will go in a different direction see this two going on the left so this two will need to go on the right so we will crease cross this two on the top this two on the bottom like that and then we will need them so we'll need in this two first on the back one and two and then we're needing this two guys one and two so see what we just did we just made two beautiful cable uh, needs or cables so what we are doing next we are simply purling our two purl stitches and we are knitting our last stitch then we're going back we're skipping see we're uh, skipping to create this beautiful chain and now we are purling again one and two and now we will be uh, knitting, simply knitting these eight stitches the way they are laying here. So just simple knitted stitch. One, two, three, four, and this four now. So one, two, three and four so we will be again we will do it for four rows guys and then we will make another cable in four rows or on row number five see how beautiful it looks here so now it was our first row now we will make three more rows and I'll come back and show you how to do the next cable okay guys we are back we had four rows after the cable needed and now we will need uh, exactly the same row with cables as previously we will skip our first stitch we will purl these two as you realize we will be purling them all the way through the pro uh, process of knitting and the same uh, two on the right side so what we're doing next we are doing the same cable as we had here on uh, first uh, time so you can uh, look and make sure that you're going in the same direction so we will be knitting these two stitches first so they will go on the top like that and then two others on the back so we're knitting these two one and two and then crisscrossed on the back the other two stitches one and hiding here two here we go so now we will be doing the same with the next four and you can see we will be doing the same cable as we did here so we will be crisscrossing these two on the top 
these two goes on the bottom because they're on the bottom we will need them first one two and then this two three and four and then we will be here you go our beautiful cables here if you can see it here see how beautiful it looks and now we will be purling our two one two and the last stitch needed so what we will be doing uh now guys we will be just repeating this pattern uh all over again until we use all our yarn and uh so we are knitting the pattern for four rows and then on the row number five we are making cables so i will keep knitting this way uh, until i'm uh, done with all my yarn then i will come back and show you how to cast off okay guys so i am back we're almost done with all our yarn i have two weeds uh, of the yarn left it's not enough for casting off so i will need to add a little bit of uh, yarn to finish this blanket 30 by 50 okay uh, or actually 35 by 50. so what i will do this is uh, a new yarn i will fluff out the end like that and then i will take the yarn that uh, i'm using for making blankets and also fluff out the end like that now i will be using this uh, felting mat and felting needle you can buy it at our website becausey.net in the accessory section and then i will place uh, one uh, end on the felting mat and then another end on the uh, top like that and now i will be poking this yarn like this keep your hands away because these needles are very very sharp so here we are see that's how it looks so now i will take it from the felting mat turning on another side and then poke the yarn on another side and this way yarn will be attached to uh, each other really nicely so here we are so now what i'm doing usually i'm rolling the yarn like this and then this opening goes on the top and then i'm poking this opening to connect the yarn completely this is the e this is very easy and very secure way to connect a merino wool so if you're working with merino wool you definitely need to invest to buy this uh, very simple tool felting a needle and felting uh, mat so here we are i'm i connected the yarn then i will rub it a little bit to make it smoother and here we are you don't really see it on the blanket and i will make one more row uh, of the same pattern and then i will show you how to cast off uh, the stitches so the blanket is almost done it's a small lap throw if you want a bigger one you will need more yarn so for blanket 30 by 50 you need four uh, pounds for a blanket for uh, 35 by 60 you need six and for a blanket 40 by 60 it's a medium size uh, you will need seven pounds so here we are we're done with knitting our blanket and now i will show you how to cast off in order to cast off you need to have three weeds of the blanket one two three and that will be then enough for casting off so to start cast off we're taking this first stitches together and then working yarn goes inside and out so we just made one stitch from two 
then we keep our hand on this uh, inside this stitch and then you're adding another stitch to the hand and then you are grabbing walking yarn and pulling it through too. See what we're doing? We are casting off uh, the top of the blanket. So two stitches, knit them as uh, make one stitch, then add another stitch and keep knitting two stitches at a time until you're done with all the stitches and you have only one stitch left. Okay, so we're almost done guys. We have just a few stitches left. So this is our two last stitches. We're knitting them together and we have one stitch left. What we're doing next, we are breaking the wool by pulling it and then this tail goes inside the last stitch and then we gently pull it. Here we are. We just finished our blanket and then this tail goes underneath the chain on the top. See this chain? It goes underneath and then we'll go back underneath here and then you have this little piece and if you have uh, the felting mat and needle what we will do we will felt in this little tail underneath the uh, stitch on the back like that see we hit it and now we place it on the felting mat with the end on the top and then we will poke the and inside the stitch which will secure there it will not be uh, t uh, falling out when you're using the blanket so here we are guys a beautiful blanket is ready you can see how beautiful this pattern is so we will need to weave in the end uh, where we started the blanket over here so we'll do the same, we'll fluff out the end and then we'll go underneath this chain, underneath and out and then we will hide the stitch underneath the, uh, hide the tail underneath the stitches on the back like that, see? And then we we'll again use the felting mat, place this stitch on the felting mat and poke it easily like that to secure the end. Here we are. You do not see where the yarn was connected. And it's a beautiful uh, ending of the blanket. So here we are, super soft, super thick, super beautiful, super warm, merino wool in mustard color, beautiful cable knit blanket needed in uh, this cable. Uh, pattern that I showed you. You can find uh, 32 colors of merino wool at becausey.net and you definitely need to try to make a blanket with merino wool because nothing looks as beautiful as merino wool on a blanket. Stay warm and be cozy.